you know, a total of 38 shows, and we're winding down the last uh, five or six, and it's been a whirlwind. It's the first time we've really done this, you know, full Canadian tour west to east in two years, and we're each day is more exciting. And now, right now, <laughs> we're closing her off. We're back in Atlantic Canada, and uh, you know, we're home, ready to close it off. First and foremost, we are a folk band that we play folk music, but we've always approached it from more of a, a rock angle and rock attitude anyway, you know, so I think uh, our shows have always been aggressive and they've always been intense and that's really rubbed off in the crowd as well and that's what's creating these uh, you know, crazy shows we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, if we say we're a folk band, it's just we still use the same instruments we did in the beginning. You know, all the guitars are acoustic, uh, we don't have any amplifiers, we don't have any drums, we don't have any keyboards or synthesizers, you know. It's all basic, simple uh, instruments. And that's we where... a great big volume knob. <laughs> big volume knob, yeah. <laughs> big PA. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's where it comes from, you know, how we treat it and how we approach it now, that's where all the rock and roll comes from. But you know, we don't consider ourselves a folk rock band because we're not. We don't approach this music from a rock and roll point of view. You know, I think as a, each new project with the band, the band's probably getting better at songwriting and better at uh, editing tunes and better at sort of standing tunes side by side with the traditional tunes that have worked for, you know, hundreds of years. So I think what we have, what we have on this album, Turn in particular, is a, a great balance between the original music we're writing, which is still very heavily uh, influenced by the folk instruments, uh, standing next to you know some songs like Captain Weatherburn, which is a child ballad that's six, eight hundred years old. And in, in the last two years, has made a conscious effort to turn more towards urban music, and uh, starting much, much more music was part of that, you know. And I think once you cross the line, and uh, which we did, and seemed like uh, we became formatted from one video station to another, it's pretty hard for, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's never the twain shall meet, and I think that's the way it's uh, going to be in uh, that industry from now on. Yeah, I mean, much music is not going to support, you know, sort of non, non pop Canadian bands the way they did five years ago. They just, they're not going to do it. Not only that, too, much, much music, you know, whatever you like it or not, is, you know, a large part of their business now is in, is in America. And because of that, a lot of the, uh, the music station's focus is on bands that either A, have a large scale profile in America, or B, are likely to have a large scale profile in America. And that's why you see uh, Our Lady Peace 100 times a week, and you don't see a lot of acts at all. A few days back in 94 was the first time I actually toured in Europe. So uh, long before we were touring in America, we were working on uh, working overseas. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, you know, that's the reason we do it, if not anything else. I mean, we have made huge amounts of money at it, but. We do have a high profile in Germany and Denmark, and uh, certainly in January, as soon as this tour ends, that's what we'll uh, return to those shores. Excited to be playing in their home province. The uh, Millennium with the show on the waterfront, the free show on the harbor front, and uh, you know, it's uh, if we weren't, weren't uh, working or doing anything on the, to end this Millennium, uh, uh, there's a very good chance that the fours would be in some way, shape, or form down there and uh, one end of the street or the other. But uh, it's, and here we are uh, actually playing a show in front of, you know, it's going to be upwards of 70,000 people here and we just can't wait. Yeah. The record companies will be releasing Turn. Uh, we asked them not to, not to do so this year because we wanted to concentrate in, in our own backyard. You know, we wanted to play in Canada as much as we could. So uh, we haven't spent a lot of time in the last six months in America and we haven't been to Europe at all. But, you know, both, uh, both our representatives in those areas are going to be putting the albums out in the new year, so we're going to spend uh, next year, much like we did this year, behind the, uh, behind the wheels of our instruments, steering them across the continent. <laughs>